Hello out there in uh, cyberspace. This is Randall Monk and Rana Vizane here in Reno, Nevada. And today we're going to talk about, or Rana's going to talk about, the four angels that Archangel Michael said, uh, told us that uh, are ours if we want them. So, Rana, I'll turn it over to you. Um, very long ago, uh, I don't know if it was in On Wings of Light or The Golden Promise, but along the way, there were a lot of wonderful things, and this touched me very deeply uh, when he offered us uh, our four special angels. And so uh, this is a beautiful thing, and they're there. They, they are there waiting for you, and they've been helping you, but it's so much more effective when you acknowledge them. And um, we do have free will, and they will not infringe on our free will. And so this is, uh, this is a gift beyond compare from Archangel Michael. And he says to, he tells us, I offer you four magnificent angels from my legions of light. How would you like them to serve? All you have to do is ask. They will guide, guard, and protect you. They will inspire you, assist you to attain your goals, as well as give you strength and courage. All you have to do is be clear of your intent. Ask for the greatest good of all and then follow the nudgings of your heart as you take the action needed to fulfill your dreams. Your angelic guides will assist you in issues of health in cooperation with your body elemental, which is your deep subconscious mind. They will assist you in your creative endeavors and they will expand or compress time when you ask them to do so, if it is appropriate, try it. I use it all the time and it's amazing. The more you tune into your angelic helpers and the more you seek their cooperation, the more strongly the connection will be. At this time, the small voice within or the sudden inspirations you receive is their way of communicating with you. You must ask for their assistance for they will not infringe upon your free will. They are as real as anything you can see or touch in your reality and their greatest desire is to serve you. We are ever near. Call on us, we will answer. I am the Archangel Michael. And I will explain just a little further to you. We have angelic guides at the different dimensions. You have one or two, mostly I think two guardian angels. I'm not quite sure, but I know we at least have one and, and at times it seems there are more for some people. But the other guides, the other angelic guides and guides are at different levels, that's, the, that's their job. And as you lift your frequencies, you tap into or you gain access to some of these higher minded or the more refined or the higher frequency beings. But these four angels, they are there. That is, they, they, that is, that is their divine mission for this universe. That's their divine blueprint to be there to support you. I don't think he said that there are two female and two male, but give them names, make them real. I've had mine, I mean, from that time on, and they're there and they're real. And it is so wonderful, it's so comforting to know that you have that. They are the messengers of the Creator. They are there to assist us. That is their job. So take advantage of it, darlings. You'll be surprised. And you will never feel alone when you know that you have those that wonderful company of angels around you. I love you. Blessings. Thank you, Rana. Actually, I don't. I don't give mine individual names. I have a group name for all four of them that I refer to when I refer to them. So, but yes, yeah, so you can, as Rana said, give them a name, or you may even want to ask if you get a name. Maybe you'll get a name. Uh, but uh, as I said, I don't have an individual name for, for them. I, use, I have a name, I call them as a group of four. And uh, so now I'm going to provide a meditation, a very brief meditation, maybe I think it's gonna be five to seven minutes or so. And it'll help you to connect with your angels, your four angels. That's all for now. Enjoy your angel buddies. We love, you. we love you. And I can see you next time. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye. Bye now.
Make yourself comfortable, either sitting or lying down. Place your awareness on your heart center. Take a few moments to relax. We'll take three deep breaths. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And now allow your body to completely relax. Relaxing all the muscles in your body from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. That's right. Good. Now you are going to travel to your personal pyramid of light. You have a personal pyramid of power, a pyramid of light where you can go in your quiet time and sleep time to receive healing and nurturance. This is your place of refuge, of peace, a place of solitude. Only you, your higher self and your angelic helpers will enter this pyramid of light in the fifth dimension. Now place your awareness within the sacred chamber of your heart where you are encapsulated in a protective ovid of light. And now move out through the back portal of your heart into the higher dimensions where you are protected within that capsule of light so you don't go into overload. Envision however you perceive your personal pyramid of light and acknowledge that your pyramid exists at the appropriate level of the fifth dimension. There is a capstone on your pyramid and it contains a spiraling rainbow ray of light which contains all the colors, virtues, and attributes of our Father Mother God. As you move into the interior of your pyramid, look around the walls and floors radiate an inner light. There is a crystal table in the center with a violet flame beneath it, and when you lie on it, it conforms perfectly to your body. There is a magnificent clear quartz crystal hanging over the center of the table. The crystal is faceted at both ends and the upper portion penetrates the capstone of your pyramid. This is the basic structure of your pyramid. However, Archangel Michael suggests that you add your own personal touches as you visit your sacred temple and make it your own. And now take a moment and lie on the crystal table within your pyramid and notice how it conforms perfectly to your body. Now ask your four angels to join you and thank Archangel Michael for sending them. Your four angels are now gathering around you. Two are feminine and two are masculine. You may be able to discern where they are standing as you lie on your crystal table and maybe not. Either way is fine. We are your four angels who have been sent by Archangel Michael from his legions of light. All you have to do is ask and we will serve you. We will guide, guard and protect you. We will assist you with issues of health in cooperation with your body elemental. We will inspire you and assist you to attain your goals as well as give you strength and courage. We are here to assist you in your creative endeavors as well. You must be clear in your intent and ask for the greatest good of all and follow your inner guidance as we communicate with you. We will communicate with you via the small voice within or with sudden insights and inspirations. 
It is important that you take action as needed when you are guided to do so. The more you tune into us and ask for our help and cooperation, the more strongly our connection will become. You must ask for our assistance, for we will not infringe upon your free will. We are as real as anything you can see or touch in your reality. Our greatest desire is to serve you. We are always close. Call on us and we will answer. Take a moment or two to make this connection stronger with your angelic helpers. And when you are ready, bring yourself back to your earthly environment.